Hey everybody, today we're going to be going over Selena. She is the new orange SSR Air Force hero that will be entering the game. We will go over how to obtain her, the different ways, how to use her skill-wise, and with what other heroes she might be best suited with, and just kind of some more info about heroes and the state of the game. So, But first, this video is sponsored by Liquid Ice. It is the next generation of energy drinks. This energy drink gives you the same great energy feeling without the crash and without that nasty aftertaste. So if you're interested, click the link in the description and order yours today. Now, to obtain Selena, you have several ways you can do it. You can outright buy her. So if you hit the get it here, you can buy her. Oh, sorry, wrong one you can buy the Selena Hero Pack. So as usual, it takes 10 shards to summon her, and then you will have her. The second way to get her, it's a Lucky Treasury, which is the way that I always suggest. You will usually get her in about 3.3k gems. Um, so that's about what that takes to get her. And then the last way to get her is to come into Recruit, do the limited time recruit up at the top, and use these this way. The downside to this is you could possibly get her outright. So there's a 2 in 100 chance. 1 in 50 if you want to reduce that. But So a 1 in 50 chance you can get her outright. Otherwise it's a 28% chance to get some of her shards. So um, something to think about if you're kind of a gamble, gambler. You could possibly get her for 300 gems. Um, this way I usually find that it ends up taking like 10k gems. So I'd avoid this personally but I have heard of people getting here for very very cheap using that method so I'm going to come into the lucky treasury and I'm going to obtain her so we can talk about her so you'll see here I got two gem two shards three shards and now I get a free shard no matter what for doing 10 spins so there's four or five for so that was a thousand gems I got five we're at two here Three, four. So I'm one shard off. So I'm going to do another three no matter what. But you can see there, I would have gotten her for about 2,200 gems. And I just did the extra ones just because I don't like leaving stragglers around. So I now have her. I summoned her and she'll be down here at the bottom. So Selena is kind of a mixture of other heroes. Uh, she's kind of a mixture of Aya and Vili. So as her skill reads, it says after the battle begins, the HP of all your Air Force units are increased by 12.4%, and the attack of all units in the last row is increased by 53.5%. That's with her brand new. Once you have her 5-star max, it's 24.2% HP and 100% attack. Now, those stats are quite impressive, and they will help. What makes her really good, and the only way I'm going to be able to show you guys this, is to come into the calendar... So if you guys are ever looking to kind of see the heroes that come out before they're actually out, you can come into the calendar, click on the hero pack, and then you can click on their information here. So this is what makes her really good, is when her exclusive skill hits level 7. So just like Optimus Prime's level 7 exclusive skill, it has a 30% damage increase to all units. 30% damage is huge. Um, that is... I mean, if you're going to get her and you are able to afford getting that level 7 skill, I highly suggest it. Um, some things I would run with her if I was to use her, because I'm not Air Force and I don't plan on upgrading my Air Force for quite a while, but I always get the heroes just to throw gold production on them. So, I mean, I'll do that right here. So I'm going to upgrade her to level 40 and throw on my gold production. But some things I would put on her... If I were to be using her, I'd definitely put on March both March sizes. I'd put on the damage increase, and I'd put on her exclusive skill. Now, if you have an extra skill slot, I, that's always a toss-up between damage decrease and attack. But I always I always err in the side of using the damage skills because they are multipliers, whereas attacks just kind of a flat increase. So, um, some things about her. If we're doing Air Force, I'm torn. Um, we've been discussing it kind of all morning and kind of torn about who to use. We definitely would say Rockfield 
is a must. And Aya is almost a must. Selena and Vili. Those are kind of the four heroes we're kind of torn between of which ones to use. Now, me personally, I would go Rockfield, Selena, Aya. Because to me, Vili and Selena are kind of interchangeable. Um, Vili's stats are actually better up until you get that Selena skill to level 7. So something to think about where, yeah, she only adds 73%, but that's to all 9 tiles, whereas Selena only adds 100% to 6 tiles. So mathematically it levels out, but if you're thinking of the fact that if you're trying to defend with her, Selena's probably a little better at defending, or Vili's probably better at attacking. So that's kind of how I would balance that and think about it is Vili attack, Selena defend. But once Selena's skill is, I'd say even level 5 because it has that pl plus 3 damage decrease, Selena takes over being the better hero than Vili. So in my opinion. Now, other people see it differently. Other people are saying that the best might still be to run Rockfield, Vili, Selena. Um, there's kind of been a lot of talk going around between us. We can't figure out exactly what's the best, but those are kind of your four heroes you'd want to use if you're Air Force. Um, obviously, and this is kind of where I want to talk about the state of the game in heroes, jumping around and trying to upgrade every single hero to five star, you're going to end up with a bunch of heroes like Tywin here, where he's five star, no perks, useless. Um, obviously I have his skill, so he isn't necessarily useless, but, um, same with Fahed, five star, no perks, useless. Bumblebee, five star. I mean, Bumblebee was free for everybody to get five star, but I don't even have his perks unlocked. So you have those three five star heroes, which are just sitting around waiting for perks, whereas even my normal heroes, my perks aren't maxed yet. So with that, you'll definitely want to choose, if unless you're a big spender who can upgrade a hero once a month, sometimes twice a month, depending on how often they release the heroes, you'll definitely want to just focus on three heroes um, or two heroes, depending on if you're a two hero march or a three hero march. Get your perks unlocked and then you can start working towards what you want to do next, whether you want to replace one of your heroes or start working on a different branch. But I'd highly suggest getting these perks. These are, as you can see, 110%. That's better than both the new hero or Vili. So. 110% attack, then you get, and that's for less shards than it would take to upgrade too. So this is about, I believe it's 500 to 600 shards, depending on your luck. Whereas a new hero costs like 720 shards to upgrade. So something to think about that upgrading an old hero might still be the better option for many, many people if they already have a five star. If you're new to the game, then that's when this kind, this video kind of plays to everybody is you have the ability to choose which one you start with. Um, but with that, I will let you guys all go. I hope you have a wonderful day or night. Please remember to like and subscribe if you enjoy the content and see ya.